If you've ever spent any length of time on the internet, you've probably come across an article like this. Ridiculous laws that actually exist around the world. Australia's dumb laws, 10 laws you may not have heard of. 24 weird British laws I can't believe still exist in the UK. And they'll include a list of facts like these. Putting a stamp with the Queen upside down is illegal and technically an act of treason. London taxis are required to carry a bale of hay at all times. In Victoria, it's illegal to change your own light bulb. So reading them, you might think, how could that possibly be true? Well, it turns out they're not. Every one of those facts is incorrect. So I wanted to dive in and find out why these articles get it wrong so much, as well as why are they so common, and give you a guide to create your own dumb law. And there are different laws around the world that people find interesting. In Singapore, chewing gum is illegal, Kenya has banned the plastic bag, and in Switzerland, if you get a guinea pig, you actually need to get two, because they get lonely and they need a friend. Now, I've made videos about weird and interesting legal topics myself, about a multi-million dollar legal case to find out whether Pringles are really potato crisps, and a video exploring this Australian biscuit that's illegal to call a cookie. And that gets to one of the issues. I spend five minutes and 50 seconds on this one topic, giving you the origin of the backstory of the biscuit, explaining the law, where it came from, and what it means today. And even my summary is an incredibly shortened version of an entire book on the topic. And that's the thing, if you're getting information in listicle format, it's not gonna be the full story, which leads us to the next issue. And if ever there was a fact that sums up the weird law genre, it'd be this one. In England and Scotland, it's illegal to handle a salmon in suspicious circumstances. And here's a Vice video that kind of sums up how this is normally shown. You know there's a law where it's illegal to handle a salmon suspiciously. I've got the salmon, now I have to act suspiciously with it. So an article might read something like this. Thanks to the Salmon Act of 1986, yep, it's a real law, it's illegal to hold a salmon suspiciously. It begs the question, how do you hold a salmon suspiciously? And this is one of the few places where they actually do give their source, the 1986 Salmon Act, which is real. But if you go there, it answers that question. When it talks about suspicious circumstances, what it means is selling and trading in illegally fished salmon. It's got nothing to do with holding a fish. And I think this misreading of the law, whether it's done accidentally or on purpose, is a big place where these weird laws come from. So how wrong are these articles? In short, they're pretty bad. In Australia, news.com.au had a go at fact-checking some of them, and here's what they found. You cannot swim at Brighton Beach, Victoria, unless you're covered in head-to-toe bathers. Well, they spoke to Brighton City Council and, no, not true, it may never have been. It is illegal to change your own light bulb in Victoria. Now, it is true that in Victoria you can't do your own wiring. If you want to kind of rewire your house, you have to get a certified electrician to do it. But not only is it okay to change your own light bulbs, it explicitly says it in the law that this is something which is okay for normal people to do. In Australia, it's illegal to walk on the right-hand side of the road. Now, not only is this not true at all, but in case there is no footpath, the right-hand side is actually where you are meant to walk. So it's very false. And on it goes. In the UK, the Law Commission, which is a government organisation, has gotten so many questions about this that they've made a bit of their own fact sheet. So here's a quick fire round of increasingly bizarre laws. London black cabs must carry a bale of hay. No, it's illegal not to carry out two hours of longbow practice per week. No, it's illegal to place a stamp of the Queen upside down. No, it is legal for a pregnant woman to relieve herself anywhere, including in a policeman's helmet. No, it is legal to shoot a Welshman with a longbow on Sunday in the cathedral close in Hereford or inside the walls of Chester after midnight or a Scotsman within the walls of York, other than on a Sunday. No, adding that it is illegal to shoot a Welsh or Scottish or any person regardless of the day, location or choice of weaponry. I do think it's funny that a member of the Law Commission had to spend time putting in some responses to these. And I'll include a link and you can check it out of all these debunked laws and a couple in there that do have some merit. I think a lot of people have this idea that there are a lot of archaic laws on the books and maybe that's more true in places like the UK, but it doesn't seem very true here in Australia. Someone asked the Law Society President of South Australia about it and he just said there was very unlikely to be many bizarre laws still in effect. What he thought was more common was archaic wordings of laws that are official. Try to decipher this one. So my advice would be if you see these articles, you can pretty much disregard anything that's on them, which does lead us to our next question. So if they're so universally wrong, why do they exist at all? And the thing is, is they're giving you information which would be pretty useless even if what was in it was true. So what are they for? It's certainly not to provide legal advice. Something I found that was interesting while I was researching this is one of the places that these things most appear is on the blogs and websites of law firms. Now, lawyers would be able to read this and say, well, this is almost certainly not true. So what's going on? Well, I think the reason is that lawyers aren't reading this even though it's on their own website because the people that run the website are different than the lawyers themselves. And their goal is to get ranked higher on Google. 
and that can come about through content and through links. So a lot of this kind of churned article is what comes together. The other place you'll find these kind of articles are on news sites, particularly those online that are hungry for information, always needing more content and more clicks. And this is pretty catchy. It's a listicle, it's got a very clickbaity title, and it's something that people might be interested in. Because anything that's given in listicle format is not a piece of legal scholarship. As I've shown, the vast majority of these articles are wrong, but if you did want to live in a world that is generally misleading but technically correct, here is a guide for creating your own dumb laws. Step one is to choose an existing law. For example, in Victoria, my home state, you can't cross the road if you've got a red light. Step two is where the magic happens. Add specifics. The weirder the better. You could give it a specific city name, you could say that it happens on a full moon, and why walk across the street when you could do a dance? And step three is frame it as a fun fact. Did you know that in Victoria, Australia, you can't cross the road during a full moon while carrying a pig while dancing an Irish jig while the light is red? How crazy is that? Technically true and utterly useless. Which could, to be fair, be a tagline for this channel. As I said, I've made different videos about weird laws, for example, why doorknobs are illegal in different parts of Australia and Canada, and the law that accidentally created Australia's biggest birthday. So check them out. Fun fact, it would be illegal not to. I'm Julian O'Shea, take care.